grab to take a look at. Just in it, unique, especially in classics, 1939 Plymouth two-door sedan. Street rotted out nicely. And of course, a lot of the 39s we get in, Ford, Chevys. Don't see a lot of these Plymouths, tend to move rather quickly when we get them in here, so good sellers. As far as color-wise, champagne on the lower portion, top half, I would consider it's very similar to the red fire metallic on a Mustang or a Ford color, kind of a deep metallic wine color. This particular vehicle was completely media blasted, um, epoxy, epoxy primer, and then a four layer base coat, four layer clear coat. So the paint on it does show well. Um, the odometer reads under 4,000 miles. And I believe that is since the build. Now, if you want to check out the still pictures, so you can kind of look at some of the things we're going to talk about. Check out the underside, engine bay, interior. Still pictures can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And of course, you can call us 507-386-1726. Of course, the iconic 39 Plymouth Square headlights is the way it would have came. FYI, this handle right here will release the front hood in the front and then it'll pop open because of course that is custom this would have opened from both sides been hinged when it was original it's a little custom modification there hillebrand wheels radial tires 400 gm powered underneath the hood and it's paired up with an automatic transmission Turbo Hydromatic, 350 to be exact. And you can see this paint shows very nicely. It is an all steel car. Not full of nicks, dings, or scratches. You might find an imperfection here or there. I mean, it has been driven. But uh, overall, very nice shape. Custom interior. And we're going to get around to the driver's side. Pop the doors open. Check that out a little closer. Start it up. Let's hear it run. Tell you a few of the traits you want to know about, about the interior, too. The other thing to remember is we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation. This vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract also. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Now, as far as doors, you can see that the door handles are shaved. It does have poppers. Um, I'll show you how those work. There's passenger side will pop right open with a key popper. If for some reason battery went dead, and you needed to manually open that. There is an emergency, if you would call it that, um, cable that's up underneath this uh, wheel well and that you can pull that will mechanically open that door, FYI. Same as the trunk back here, there is a button and uh, on that one you wanna push and hold it. It will pop the trunk and then at the same time you can kinda of raise the trunk. Trunk's, trunk's got a little bit of weight to it. There is a prop rod right over there against the wall that I will put in the trunk uh, that will work on the trunk and the hood, FYI. Once again, still pictures, unique, classiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. is going to take you right there. As you can see, taillights, also Frenched in. License plate bracket, Frenched in. Take a look at the underside of this car, as clean as the top. And you can see the paint. Looks as good over here on the driver's side as it does the passenger side. Fuel filled door on the exterior of the exterior of the car which is always nice go ahead and pop this driver's door and you can see they just pop open come that far they're nicely done this is a nice built rod all right let's take a look at this interior so we have power windows both sides you also have power seats in this vehicle here on the driver's side you can see right where they're at and they do work obviously same with the backrest tilting as far as the passenger side, you have to reach under the front of the seat, slide it, move it, then that will take care of the passenger seat as far as the power option goes. Now, something I want to point out on this, there's the true color of this interior. Maroons, wines, sometimes blues, they want to wash out on the camera for some reason. I don't know what it is. That's the true color of this interior. If I come up right on top of it, it's going to kind of see how it gets brown that is not the color of this vehicle so if you see me move around in the interior and you see this brown looking color that is not it as i step away there's the true color of this interior so nice wine color 
two-tone interior, matches exterior. Tilt column, banjo style wheel. A lot of chrome going on in here, dolphin gauges. So very clean, nicely done interior. Headliner, good shape. Rear seat, and again, there you can see it kind of washes it out. It's more of the wine color than that washed out kind of brownish color. And you can see that in the still pictures. I tried to step back and get you a good shot of it so you can see the color. All right. There is a, a remote control for the radio that's on the key fob also. Now, let me show you where these keys go. Underneath the dash right here. Turn that on, initiates the fuel pump. Make sure we're in park. And then, excuse me, one on the right's lights, one on the left will uh, engage the starter. And once it starts, just let it go back, natural. And then when you go to shut the car off, push this in, that will stop the engine and turn your key off for uh, fuel pump. As you can see, gauge is working. Half tank of fuel, oil pressure. There's the exact miles that you can see that. I'm gonna get in there. You'll be able to see it in the still pictures. Reach 3426. No decimal there, I do not believe. 3426. Tachometer. And over here that was a cold start, water temperature, and then voltmeter. See the turn indicator lights working. All right, better warm up this a little bit here. Working horn. Ooh, this is that 400. A little beefy sound. Like there's a little pan to it. All right, I'm gonna slip up here to the front. It's gonna take me two hands just to reach this and get it open. Now, I did mention over here where you release. You see the hood pop. Now, there is another little release right over on this side that you gotta flip, get the hood up. It's gonna take me two hands. I'm gonna need the prop rod. Give me a second, be right back, wrap. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. There we go, try to get a little peek at that engine bay. So there's a prop rod, and again, there'll be one in the trunk when you use for the trunk, and or the front, champion. Aluminum radiator, Edelbrock carb, Edelbrock intake, HEI ignition. Got to do a little rundown. And then, of course, some nice chrome. Dress up as far as valve covers, air cleaner cover, what have you. Uh, and earlier, I forgot to mention 323 rear gears, I believe it was. You take a peek at that. So, this is set up to go down the highway, have some fun driving it. Yes, 323 rear gears. Um, have any questions on it? There's kind of a write-up as far as how this car was done, what was used. Feel free to ask your sales consultant about that when you call in or email. UniqueClassicCars.com, 507-386-1726. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email.